We are joined now by the reigning Hapro Division Champion, two-time division champion, that is, and Wilbur Montgomery and the manager, Joe Balco. And, Joe, you got a tough matchup this week in the semifinals with some money on the line against a three-seed, Will Power. Uh, just give us your initial thoughts on the matchup. Uh, well, you know, going into Monday night of last week, uh, you really didn't expect Will to even be in this game. So, um, you know, for him to get to this point and, uh, you know, to be matched up against us is something that, um, you know, we're going to have to really look at. And then, uh, it's going to be it's going to be a stalk fight. He's a very good team, and he showed it. Um, show we can do and come back on uh, in an instant. He has some playmakers, and um, we're just going to have to counter. And your running back situation from week to week since uh, Ronnie Brown and, and Cedric Benson has been banged up a little bit too. It's been a little bit up in the air each week. It's been a little bit of a circus act, if you will. You know what goes into uh, you know trying to manage that situation. Well, you know, I mean, you're going to have your stud in Chris Johnson, who's really been, um, honestly, a blessing all year, uh, one of our keepers, and, uh, you know, most likely to be a keeper uh, going into next season. Uh, like you said, Benson's been injured, but, um, you know, he's, he's come back, and he's come back strong. He, he plays some good teams. He plays Pittsburgh, and he, he'll, get you, he'll get you 100 yards rushing um, any given day. So we, we, count it, we start with those two guys, and then uh, the third guy has been in a flux. Uh, we had Liddell Betts for a while. He got hurt. Steve Slayton got hurt. Uh, Ronnie Brown got hurt, but, um, you know, you look at matchups and free agent list, and, uh, you know, this week we're going to go with uh, Aaron Foster for the um, Houston Texans. Uh, we think that he's got a good matchup against St. Louis, and, um, you know, if he gets some carries and some touches, then, um, you know, we should be all right. But, you know, it, it's been a tough struggle all year with our running backs, and um, we're going to try and put it together this week and uh, hopefully get some help from our other players. Now, you're certainly one of the more consistent managers in the league from year to year. You've made the playoffs, I believe, four straight years now uh, by my count. Um, you know, what makes you so consistent? But at the same time, you got to start, you must be getting a little bit frustrated with not being able to get over the hump to that championship level yet. Yeah, obviously championship something that, um, you know, that's your goal from start every year. And, um, you know, that was our goal from this year. So, um, but... You know, you got to have many goals throughout the season. And, um, you know, our first goal was to win the Happer division, um, get that by and get into the playoffs, and we've done that. So, you know, now we got to take the next step. And, uh, you know, the fan base wants us to win it all, and, you know, so do we. Um, and it, it has been frustrating. It really has. But, uh, you know, to get to win, uh, to get into the playoffs that many years in a row, you got to have consistency out of your players. And, um, you know, we started with a couple of good keepers um, uh, a couple of years in a row. Now we've had Breeze and Johnson. And, um you know, you just look for veterans, guys that do it year in and year out. And, um, you know, you, uh, you don't take as many chances on guys. And you just you get solid veterans and try and make trades if you're weak at a spot. And I think we did a good job of doing that this year. You know, there's no debating what Drew Brees and Chris Johnson bring to your team. But the, the skeptics out there say, well, after that, there's a big drop-off from the talent for the rest of his team. You know, do you worry at all about... Johnson and Breeze not putting up big numbers in a certain week and you having to dig yourself out of a big hole? No, I think um, for the most part we have a, a very balanced team. Uh, we've got one of the best tight ends in the league in Vernon Davis. Um, we have a guy who just set the NFL record in receptions last week, on a bye week, of course, but uh, Brandon Marshall. And, uh, you know, he's been unbelievable this year. Uh, Derek Mason has been unbelievably consistent after we uh, acquired him from Zig early on in the season. And then you got a guy like Cedric Benson, as I said, who continues to put stats up. And uh, number one ranked defense in the league for most of the year, the Jets. And, uh, you know, we got the Saints kicker, and they're putting up points. So uh, we have a lot of different things, a lot of different ways to score. And uh, with Drew Brees and Chris Johnson, I mean, we had some weeks where uh, there was about a month span where Drew Brees had a bye and a couple of weeks where he didn't even get the double-digit points, and we managed to win three out of four of them weeks. So it's all about a, a balanced team and balanced scoring, and uh, we really think we have that. And Sidney Rice this year has been the – might be one of the uh, waiver wire pickups of the year. Please enjoy the music while your party is reached. Hello. And we lost him momentarily, but Joe Balco is back with us, the manager of Wilbert Montgomery. And Joe, what kind of challenge does Will Power bring in this semifinal matchup? I mean, you can you can just look at his last week uh, performance, you know. A guy that, you know, he was down for so long and basically out, and, you know, everyone really counted him out going into Monday night, and he just went off. And, um, you know, he had a Desha Deshaun Jackson, who's, uh, you know, leads the league and or just tied the league record for most um, touchdowns or plays over 50 yards this year with about eight or something like that. And so he has he's explosive talent. Uh, he has Maurice Jones-Drew, who's, um, you know, best of the best at running back situation. 
Um, you know, his quarterback situations, you know, it's up in the air. Every From time to time, you have Roethlisberger, uh, Vince Young, and Flacco. But, you know, he's done a good job of managing uh, matchups and, you know, putting the guys in the right spots. And, um, you know, good managers will get breaks. And he, he can tell you last week he didn't maybe make all the right moves, but he came out with the victory. And, uh, you know, you're going to you got to credit him for that. You played him less than a month ago. He came up short, obviously. Thursday night as his main running back, put up 25-plus points, and Maurice Jones-Drew. Any concern there at all? I mean, it's, it's the ideal start for him. You know, he got everything he needed out of, you know, his horse, and that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to get our main guys, our Chris Johnsons, our Sidney Reitzes, our Drew Breeses, our Vernon Davises. they got to have some big games. And, um, you know, hopefully Brandon Marshall feeds off his 21-catch, uh, 200-plus yard game um, that he put up last week when we didn't play anybody. But, uh yeah, we just we just got to get we got to get our points out of our big guys, and you know he's show, he's showing that he deserves to be here, and that's why uh, you know he put up 28 points out of a running back. You know, obviously he's got some talent, and um, yeah, it's going to be a tough matchup. But uh, by no means, um, you know, we added this. Uh, you know, we got 10 guys. He's got nine, so the week's just starting, and uh, I think it's going to be fun. Joe Balco, the manager of the Hatboro Division champion Wilbert Montgomery, joining us here on the HHFFL Network. Joe, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Couple. Jesus. Guy was all over the place. He had 21 points at halftime. Ugh. So, I'm pissed. So how do you really feel? I'm mad. I mean, it, it by no means means any. It doesn't mean shit at this point. I, I mean, it's an amazing start, but, you know, god damn it. We still got, I still got some players. I'm all right. I just need some, I need some sick performances. Chris Johnson, you know. Foster might have a good game. We'll see. I don't know. God damn it. <laughs>